Hello, cellos. Today we are going to practice some shifting. All right, so we're going to practice going from four fingers on the A string in first position to one finger in fourth position. Watch me. Got it? So we're going from this note, D on the A string. We're moving the whole arm to E. And we use this a lot when we play the cello. We use it in a lot of different pieces of music and we use it in our G major scale. Let me show you where we use it. There is the shift. All right, so let's go ahead and practice that. All right, four fingers on the A string. Make sure it's in tune. Make sure it sounds like mine. Nice. All right, now, here we go. Make this as simple as possible. Move the entire arm. Don't leave any fingers behind. Don't start twisting your wrist. Just move the whole arm. Just like that. Awesome. The way we get into trouble is if we start to twist around, make some weird jellyfish arms, right? So, just make it as simple as you can. Keep the elbow high, move the arm. Nice. If your elbow is touching your side, it won't work very well. So, keep that elbow up. All right, let's do five of these shifts going up. A little bit slowly. All right, here we go. We're gonna hold each note for two beats. One, two, here we go. One finger goes down, 
but instead of pushing down so we get this really slidey sound, we're going to just lightly rest the finger on the A string without touching the fingerboard. So you'll get a very weird sound. It sounds like a weird ghost. So, one finger's down, then you lift it off the fingerboard, but not off the string. So it's resting here. Nice. All right, so try that. Four fingers. One finger. Ghost sound. All right, we got it. Last time, just so you can get used to it. Four fingers. One finger. Ghost sound. There we go. All right, so those are some ways you can practice that shift. You can use those same methods on uh, any of your other strings. Right, so you can use the same methods to practice shifts on your other strings. And you can even use that same strategy to practice shifting to any other note, especially if you're shifting from a first finger to another first finger somewhere else. Okay, I hope that was helpful and you are going to be an expert at shifting. I already know it and happy practicing.